this is Ujjwal Kumar Sand and uh, in this video tutorial we are going to talk about one of the most important topic that is Rankine cycle. Well first of all let me share with you the person behind Rankine cycle. Who is the person? That is written here only. William J. M. Rankine. He is a professor and uh, of course uh, he has contributed one of the biggest thing that is Rankine cycle. Okay. So definitely, I mean, if you're talking about where exactly we use this Rankine cycle, then definitely, uh, you know, I must say that if you are talking about uh, uh, other than Rankine cycle, then uh, other than uh, Carnot cycle, then, uh, you know, Rankine cycle we are using uh, in case of a power plant, we use Rankine cycle, right? So, so this is all about the Rankine cycle application, but yes. Uh, the person, what exactly, the William John McRoen Rankine, what did? Actually, he modified the Carnot cycle. He, what he did? Modified the Carnot cycle. Yes. So, the modification helped us to get practically possible cycle, which is, I mean, this cycle, implementation of this cycle practically possible. So, we'll start from here. And, uh, you know, this cycle is also known as I must say that it is the idealized cycle for steam power plant. Steam power plant. Yes. So if you are talking about the idea, this is an idealized power. Uh, cycle for a steam power plant right so let's go for the components most important components we have used in this cycle first of all let's start working uh, not start actually boiler we have there pump we have there turbine we have there and the last one is condenser we have there each of these component having different different uh, application in that cycle and because of that what we did we have we got power by uh, through steam you can say right so that's why we uh, this cycle is known as ideas idealized cycle for a steam power plant okay so these are most important components now what we'll do we'll just draw a diagram i mean the cycle exactly in a cycle how uh, this uh, cycle is working we'll draw a diagram and we'll definitely go for in-depth concept we'll go for the derivation also so stay tuned keep listening to me and if you have anything else around you just just go away and just keep listening to me if you wanted to learn about Rankine cycle right so here is the diagram i am going to draw it so let's say this is a boiler and uh, we got here that is turbine and we'll just add turbine with the condenser then we have one other most important component that is pump okay so as i have shared with you we are having four components so let's say this is boiler this is not let's say actually it is a boiler we have to put boiler before turbine then condenser and then pump so Let's say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and again 1, 2, 3, 4 going on. That's why it is uh, going on in a cyclic process. That's why it is known as cycle, right? And in this cycle, we have 4 processes. We have 4 processes. So 1, 2, 2, what is happening exactly I am sharing with you. What is the work of pump actually? What is happening? Here we got uh, water, right? So pump is increasing pressure of water and putting into the boiler. What boiler exactly doing? Boiler is, you know, boiling water and it is converted into steam. Well, if steam will be in superheated, that is known as good quality steam, right? That's why we can get very good output. Then after putting the steam in the turbine, steam turbine, we are getting work done, right? We can convert that work done into power also, right? So three to four. Then we got here some steam, some low quality steam. Then what happened? Condenser condensed steam into completely liquid form of water. So here water we are getting only in liquid form, not in vapor form. That is the thing, right? So this is how this cycle is working. So these are the process. But if you uh, these are things what I am going to I am sharing with you. This is really simple. 
if you are thinking about writing in the examination you can write this but what process exactly flowing from uh, exactly we are following from 1 to 2 just i am going to share with you right if you are talking about 1 to 2 process 1 to 2 process there is right so in 1 to process what is happening let me share with you here reversible reversible adiabatic process is going on reversible adiabatic process is going on now if you are talking about 2 to 3 what process is there 2 to 3 process right so in case of 2 to 3 if the process is going on at constant pressure well don't worry you will also learn about it from pv diagram and ts diagram uh, we can also draw hs diagram but i am not going to draw yeah yeah definitely i will share with you hs diagram also so pv diagram ts diagram and hs diagram these three diagrams are most important from this diagram you can understand what is happening exactly there right so we have gone to two three now three to four most important process three four process what is happening here reversible adiabatic process again but expansion is going on here here what is happening expansion is going on and it is also known as reversible adiabatic process now let's go for the last one that is four to one process so 4 to 1 process what is going on again the process is going on going on at constant pressure and what is going on here the when the steam is here steam is condensed into completely into water that is going on there right so this is all about the processes are going on and i have already shared with you what is exactly going on in that component I and mean, what is the work of that component what is the application of that component now what we'll do we'll draw one by one diagram first we'll start with pv diagram p for pressure and v for volume so let's draw this one now now let's yeah so from we are starting from one so this is one one two 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 three and here three two four 3 to 4 this is a this is a uh, you know pv diagram so what is happening here from 1 to 2 pump is there from 2 to 3 uh, there is a constant pressure i mean boiler is there 3 to 4 turbine is there 4 to 1 again constant pressure that is condenser yeah, yeah condenser is there so what i have shared with you in these four steps the exactly thing i am sharing with you here so drawing pv diagram then i mean i mean if you uh, understand one of these things or you will remember one of these things you can quite easily draw pv diagram now let's go for the ts diagram what is t basically can you guess yeah i think you know what is t right <laughs> so t is temperature s is entropy very good entropy is quite good thing okay so let's go for it so what is entropy so what is going on here just first me draw it let me draw first then i will share with you yeah so one to two going on here two two dash and three so four right so here also you can see that one to two reversible adiabatic process this is also known as isentropic process that's why entropy is constant three to four reversible adiabatic process again isentropic process that's why entropy is constant here are you getting my point now let's go for let's go for the another diagram that is also known as hs diagram enthalpy and entropy diagram right so this would be like this this is like this yeah so this is almost straight line inclined but okay so one to two is here two to three is here three to four is here so these are all diagrams of Rankine cycle ts diagram pv diagram and hs diagram i hope you understand now now if you are i am sure if you wanted to learn then probably you are preparing for university examination then what you have to do you, have, you need to know what is this and you need to know who is the person behind this again you need to know from where they get this person get this cycle this is a modified form of rank uh, carnot cycle right so remember that now you have come to know what is what are about these components what are 
are components we are using in this cycle and even again we have also come to know the processor we are going through in this cycle so till now we have done the theoretical part now we'll move to the derivation part which is also important now one more thing one more important thing i would like to share with you if you are watching this video till now that means you are having something it's been 10 minutes you have been watching this video that means what happened you are having keen interest so be calm and keep watching till the end of the video you will come to know the derivation i mean how to find out how to find out its efficiency you can say that okay so let's go for it yeah so we got here another page and here we are going to find out we are going to derive that equation that how we can find out efficiency of Rankine cycle remember that now let's go for the process for for two to three process right for two to three process what is exactly going on there so in case of ADA reversible adiabatic process but here heat, heat addition is going on because steam will be convert sorry water will be converted into steam or superheated steam that is up to, up to us what quantity quality we wanted to get right now uh, here delta w equal to zero now heat addition is going on here right heat addition is going on here that's why water will converted into a steam because of boiler so that is that is the application of boiler so delta q is equal to s3 minus h2 if i am saying this is a term in enthalpy so this is a case of boiler only let's say for b now for process 3 to 4 process 3 to 4 process what is going on there turbine is uh, sorry 3 to process, 4 process turbine is there now what happened delta q equal to 0 there so w t or delta h t is equal to okay just i have to use minus sign because i am going to do like this s3 minus h4 right so these are two processes now if we are talking if we are talking about what is happening in case of condenser as well as pump so let's go for one to two process one to two process let's go for it so one to two process in case of uh, you know in case of uh, pump what is happening there h1 minus h2 and in case of the remaining one is four to one process 4 to 1 process what we have there in 4 to 1 process we are having condenser okay so in case of condenser what exactly we are getting delta q condenser is equal to h1 minus h4 so this one is h1 minus h2 so always remember all these things now if we if we are saying if we wanted to find out net work done net work done then net work done is equal to work done at this and work done at pump okay so we can say it as 3 minus h4 as 3 minus h4 plus h1 minus h2 we can also write this equation as like this h1 as 3 minus h4 minus h2 minus h1 we can also write this like now what we know the general efficiency the formula for general formula for finding out efficiency of any cycle is output by input that is the general form so let's write efficiency we know that output by input so where exactly we are putting output that is here we're getting output here as 3 minus h4 minus h2 minus h1 okay divided input is going on where boiler s3 minus h2 right so we got it now think about uh, let's say let's say let's say we are we are neglecting pump work done if we will neglect pump work done then what will say this term will become zero because we are neglecting right because you know there is also a reason behind this where we are neglecting because of water is there that's why okay so efficiency effi so if you are talking about like this so uh, what i must say that efficiency of rankine cycle if we are neglecting pump work done then s3 minus h4 by h2 minus uh, sorry s3 minus h2 
एस थ्री माइनस एच फोर बाई एस थ्री माइनस एच टू सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस राइट नाउ लेट्स डू लिटिल विथ रिविजन अबाउट इट वट आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर विद सो इट्स बीन अबाउट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स यू हैव बीन वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो दैट मीन्स यू आर हैविंग गुड पैसन आई होप यू गॉट सम इन साइड इंफॉर्मेशन एंड ऑल्सो कम टू नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट एफिशियंसी ऑफ रैंका इन साइकिल आई होप यू हैव एंजॉय द टोटल इफ यू थिंक दिस टोटल हेल्प यू जस्ट share this tutorial with your friends that's why they can also help from this tutorial thanks for watching and if you have any suggestion you can just comment below i'll try to help you through my video tutorials thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye have a nice day